so what we are going to do today is uh, a blower fan cleaning video uh, because after three or four years or five years of your car running air conditioning every season uh, it accumulates a lot of dust uh, which ultimately ends up in uh, disbalancing the blower wheel so it then starts to make more noise than air or what you can say is uh, it feels like it's running on a lot faster speed than as compared to the air throw so what we need to do for that is I'm just gonna give an example uh, I'm turning on my fan So one uh, one thing which by which you can judge that your fan needs cleaning is uh, when you uh, turn the fan on the top speed, you can feel uh, a little bit of vibrations in your dashboard. So that's one of the classic signs. But uh, that is not the issue I'm facing. The issue I'm facing is uh, the blower assembly or the blower motor uh, or the blower fan. Uh, has a bearing at the bottom and my bearing has started to make a little chirping noise not on the flat roads uh, but just on the uneven roads on the bumps so I'm going to open the blower motor uh, re-lubricate the bearing and and we are going to open the uh, blower motor so we'll clean it anyways so what we have to do for that is uh, first thing first uh, we have to open the gate open the side panel and you can see uh, this clip you have to remove this clip uh, it is kind of a safety mechanism so it's out place it somewhere safe and you have to remove this panel as well panel removed now uh, every other bolt every other screw is inside so we need to remove uh, multiple screws I guess you can see this one one two three and there's one bag there there four so after opening these four screws our dash our glove box will be out of the way and uh, your blow motor lives behind the glove box and there is one more bolt hidden down here so don't forget to remove that as well and all the screws are t20 screws so you just need one bit uh, for opening the glove box so one more hidden screw actually uh, glove box with stuff with a lot of things so i was unable to observe that screw so i am now getting tired of the screws hidden screws one more I hope you will be able to see yes it's just under the left kick panel so we have to remove this as well and after removing all the screws you have to carefully observe the glove box as you can see the first thing we did was removing the clip and we have to actually pull this lock out of the way so that we can remove that and after removing your glove box don't forget to unplug the foot lamps so you have to unplug those as well just a normal connector press from both sides and pull it back now you have to carefully remove the insulation from the bottom not from the top and place it somewhere on top as well because we can't disconnect it, it's held with screws and it's quite flimsy, I must say. So there are chances that we will tear it up, so we are not going to remove it. Uh, so that is your blower motor, uh, which we have to disassemble. So there are screws, uh, one, two, three, and I guess uh, two or three more from the bottom and one on the side so we have to remove all these screws and then we will able to pull the blow motor out 
and these are the screws by which uh, the blower motor is held on its position uh, it is T15 Torx 15 from inside and uh, from outside it is a size 5.5 millimeter bolt so I guess T15 will be much easier to source than size 5.5 So don't forget one thing which I literally forgot is removing the electrical connector first before doing anything. So my motor is literally out of the way and my electrical connector is still connected. So this is a situation where you, can, you, you, you are literally risking your electrical connections. Uh, so don't do this mistake and after that you just have to pull this support a little bit downwards and pull the motor out. That's so easy. So. I'll show you after I remove it completely. So this is how our blower motor looks like after 5 or 6 years of running. Uh, we had to clean it but uh, not with the help of water. So save it from water because the armature coil of the motor is literally exposed. So you will end up blowing your motor as well if you wash it with water so take a brush or I guess the old toothbrush will work the best and you have to clean the housing as well because it's also quite filthy easy stuff uh, I'll come back to you after cleaning all these things so after a lot of cleaning uh I actually moved on to the next step but I'm just going to put a disclaimer here for all of you that if you don't have confidence on you that what you are doing don't perform this next step so now what I did is I actually removed the motor from the housing except the electrical connector because the electrical connector is designed in a way that it's one time use and as soon as you try to remove it, it will break and you will have a car which doesn't have air conditioning anymore so uh, the electrical motor is held onto the assembly with the help of these rubber boots which connects onto the side of the motor it is actually rubber boot and motor mount as well to reduce the vibration and that uh, a little point you can see it locks inside the housing so your motor is not in direct contact with your housing so here is the shaft uh, on the bottom uh, what we are supposed to lubricate so don't perform this step until unless you are fully confident as we can see this is the dust uh, just from the inside housing so I guess you can imagine what was on the blower it motor itself blower fan itself so the last thing before uh, installing back the blower again I've cleaned it as much as I can I guess 95 99 percent just with the help of these two brushes we are not going to use any kind of liquid any kind of solvent it is supposed to be cleaned just with compressed air or by brushes or you can risk uh, damaging the motor so at last what we have to do is uh, we will lubricate this pin from here and I don't know whether you can see there's one at the top as well so I'm gonna use a spray lubricant because they are much better to reach places where your finger can't so we are now we just have to uh, lubricate this thing rotate it fix it back again and put the assembly back on the place and we are done I guess and we will show you the results afterwards so the rotor assembly is reassembled back motor on its position just give it a last one rotation to see if nothing is getting stuck and just in case you observe something like this on your blower uh, 
don't move it or don't change this position it is actually a counterweight to balance the rotating mass of the wheel so now we just have to put it back again back again and just the same manner we removed it so So everything got connected in the same manner as it was removed and now checking the blow motor. So the vibrations got reduced quite a lot and the airflow as compared to the noise is making is, has also increased. So this is a classic symbol of dirty air blower, uh, pretty easy job to do. So that is how we do it on a VW 